Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. It's almost Christmas and we are all busy wrapping Christmas gifts for friends and family, cleaning our houses and cooking heaps of food. So it's time for a break. Get yourself a glass of mulled wine with a pinch of cinnamon, sit comfortably and have a look at my last video for this year. After all videos with Christmas decorations, I've prepared this one with wooden box which can be used as a gift for someone special. Let's start by painting it with white primer using synthetic brush. You will need two coats and don't forget to paint inside and outside. When everything is dry, I use large decoupage sponge and grey acrylic paint to highlight edges to achieve aged look. Your sponge needs to be almost dry with very little paint on it, so wipe excess on kitchen towel. Now we need to apply thick layer of decoupage glue on top of our box as we will be using iron to glue our napkin. Any decoupage glue will work as long as you apply it evenly. When everything is dry, remove two bottom layers of your napkin and use brush and water to tear around images for better blending. I've decided to glue my napkin on one side of the box instead of gluing it in the middle because it would be very difficult to blend around wooden card. Lift the lid up to double check that you positioned your napkin on the right side. There is nothing more frustrating than finding out you glued your napkin on the other side of the lid. Cover it with baking paper or parchment paper and iron it for a couple of minutes on medium heat. You need to remember to switch steam function off in your iron. Wait for the box to cool down and apply either glue or varnish on top of your napkin to seal it. It is difficult to glue large pieces of napkins without wrinkles, that's why we use iron. It is crucial to wait for everything to cool down before sealing it, because warm box makes our sealer dry faster and leaves brush strokes. Now the hardest part and blending. I use white, black and grey paint and bunch of decoupage sponges to match background around images. Try to take very little paint on your sponge when tapping around images.
If you are not happy about blending, you can splash some white and black dots all over your box as I did. You will need either toothbrush or brush with stiff bristle and paint diluted with water. At this point I need to seal everything with varnish. I covered the whole box inside and outside with three coats of gloss varnish. On the lid I applied more layers to give a depth to my images. In the meantime we can work on some embellishments. I filled silicone mold with this mixed media paste using spatula. I really like this paste, but it drives me mad when I have to wait 12 hours for it to dry. Yes, you heard me right, it takes about 12 long hours to dry, so if you, if you need 3 or 4 pieces, you will need to be very patient. When my paste is finally dry, I remove my embellishments which are flexible and can also be attached around curved surface surfaces. Now we can glue those around the box using strong glue. I think my embellishments look too white and too new, so I take a little bit of grey paint on my sponge and apply it on raised edges. We will also need another coat or two of varnish to seal everything together, including just added pieces. Well, my box is ready, but I wouldn't be myself if I didn't think of something else. This box used to have wooden compartments inside and when I tried to pull those out I damaged it. So I had to think of something to fill those holes on sides of my box and I chosen hessian string.
drilling holes wasn't bad, but I have to say that gluing string around the base was a hell of a challenge and it took me over one hour to finish. If you decide to do the same, remember to apply thick layer of glue after two rounds of string and so on. If that wasn't enough, I've decided to decoupage wooden coaster with the same napkin, starting from painting it with white primer. It is better to glue napkins leaving longer edges than cutting it to size of your coaster. Use white good quality brush and decoupage glue or iron-on method. When everything is dry I remove edges with sandpaper and paint those with dark grey paint. couple of coats of varnish and we can glue our coaster inside the box. You can use hot melt glue or any other strong glue. At the very end I glue a little bit of string around my coaster and corners and my box is finally ready. I wish you all the best for Christmas and Happy New Year and I will see you in January.